Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to stream your media from your PC or laptop to your Samsung Smart TV without any USB, HDMI or any other cable. In my case, I have a Samsung Smart TV H6400 series and a laptop which is running Windows 8.1. First of all, we're going to download the server, your server in our computer. Uh, this is quite a simple setup, so I'm just going to fast forward the steps of the set, uh, setup of your server. And as soon as it is downloaded and installed, we can open the Servio server. Once the Servio server is opened, uh, the server will be running. But uh, since the server has just been started, uh, there will be no, no files to show on, on the server. So we're going to go through the steps to add the other files. So first of all, we're going to open the Servio server after installation. We go to server Servio console, and we go to the toolbar, uh, taskbar below, and we open the Servio console. After opening the console, we go to the library, and we're gonna want to add a path. So, by adding a path, we mean we. We will add a whole folder. For example, we're going to add this folder. And to add this folder, we're going to copy the path of this folder. After copying it, we will go and add this path to our Servio server. After adding it, we're going to specify the types of the files that this folder will be containing in our server in my case i'm going to use movies the music and also pictures uh, i am also going to add my gopro uh, my gopro folder so uh, the same goes for the for the other folder too even in this folder i'm going to use movies music and also pictures after doing this, we don't need to to hurry and save the the changes because because there's still some changes that we need to make. Let's go and change the transcoded files location. Uh, this is because my local disk C is almost full, so I don't have much space in it. If you have enough disk space, there is no need to change this path. And also, I will set the audio channels to keep original so I get the best audio quality. In, uh, and also make sure that enable transcoding is checked because this is very important to playing video files that are not supported uh, from your device, in this case from your TV. Now we're going to add the yeah, uh, we're actually gonna set the categories that we need during our during the browsing of our server. So I'm just gonna fast forward this, and uh, I, as you can see, I only selected some of the categories because most of them are useless, to be honest, like the online categories and some others. And this is all, so let's go ahead and save the changes of, the, of our library. And so this means the configuring of our server is done. So by saving the changes, we, we force refresh. So the library will be adding files to the server now from the two paths that we, we have given earlier. 
so this will take quite some time as uh, the two folders I added are quite uh, big in size so while the file uh, the files are being added I will uh, simply show the f uh, one of the files that we are going to check on, on my TV So now let's go and check if the if the server we just created is being seen by our TV. Let me firstly turn the TV on. So as soon as the TV is on and it is connected to the wi to the same Wi-Fi network that the laptop is also connected, you can go to you can click source in your remote con control. And there you can find the network servio server. The name Basarb in my case is the name of, of your computer. If it isn't in your in there in your sources, then simply go to your smart hub interface and go to multi multimedia and uh, go and connect to network device. In here you will find all the devices that are connected to the same Wi-Fi network and here is the server server we created. I also have a different server which is uh, set up in a different computer of mine which is also connected to the same web network. So let's connect to the so we just created and we will check a file if, the, if it will play from from our laptop if you want to play a file you should know that the server should be running so the this means the computer must be on while you play the the file in your tv Well guys I hope you enjoyed this and if you have any questions please leave a comment below and I guess I'll see you on the other videos.